Hello and welcome to my first ever hair tutorial and um, probably my last. Um, but you'll get to see how I managed to do this with about 85% baldness. So let's get started. First I'm going to show you a few tools. Start with my mirror that I purchased especially for this. My pink Tangle Teaser hairbrush, an alopecia must have. A rectangular scarf or something that you can use as a bandana. A fine tooth comb. And some curling tongs. I'll also be using my Baptiste Dark dry shampoo and some pretty strong hairspray. So getting started you'll notice that I want to focus on two key main areas that are going to be on show. This will be on the front and then the top middle back. First of all I'm going to focus on brushing my hair through, that's just to make sure that I'm free of any tangles or knots or anything that might get in the way when it comes to curling. I then take my fine tooth comb just to make sure that centre parting right at the front is going to offer me the most thickness on either side of my face. After this I go about separating those areas that I previously mentioned. So I kind of want to keep the front bit straight as this will be easier to deal with in the future. And then I'm separating the back section of my hair ready for curling. Next I'm just going to jump straight into the curling, so you want to segment little bits off at a time, take curling iron and make sure you wrap it up nice and tight as close to the scalp as you can without obviously risking burning yourself. I thought I'd fast forward this bit as much as I can and chop and change as it's fairly straightforward, it's literally going around the whole of my head and making sure I get some nice little curls and ringlets on the go. So what you'll see next is that I obviously take my dry shampoo and apply it to the roots of my hair. I'd actually recommend doing this before you put your curls in, I annoyingly forgot on this occasion. What this helps is give a lot more volume to the base of the hair and it'll add for a lot more lift in the future. After this I'm going to go in with some bobby pins and I very much take a pin it up and then deal with it after approach. So I just take a lump of the curls, pin it to the top of my head, roughly in the area that I know is going to be on show, and I'll repeat this process with both sides of my head, making sure all the curls are roughly in the right place. You'll see me tweaking my curls several times throughout this video. This is a fine process, so it's going to happen on a few occasions. Just making sure all those curls are in the right place and give for the best visual look. So next is where the fine tooth comb really comes in handy. I'll take the comb and make sure to straighten out the front sections of my hair, making sure they're nice and smooth. Sadly I can't pin the ends of my hair to the back of my head like I'd recommend, so I actually managed to take the end of the hair and pin it to the existing hair that's at the top. Don't worry about what's on show currently because this will all be hidden in the future with your bandana. Then I go ahead and make sure to do the same thing on the other side. Next I'm just going in and tweaking my hair, I'm just making sure all those curls are nicely smoothed out and I get some really nice ringlets towards the front. I don't mind the curls looking a little bit messy as I quite like that look, however it's nice to have some good curls on show. Finally I go in with a bandana, you'll see that I fold it into a triangle and then fold a small section of the triangle over again. Then take the bandana around the back of my head, take the two longest ends, reach them above top of my head and then I want to tie them in a knot roughly at the end of where my parting currently is. I 
Then I go in and tuck all the sides and the back in just a bit more just so we can show a bit more of that poodle updo. Secure the knot into a double knot. And then with the tail ends I can either leave these on show as they can look quite nice on their own. Or as I prefer to do is just take these tail ends and tuck them into the top. Again I go in just to make sure all those curls are nicely placed. Where we put the bandana on sometimes it can crush some of the curls and it's nice to bring them back out again. And then go in with a large dose of Stronghold hairspray. Next I'm taking my fine tooth comb again. I just want to neaten up these front sections of my hair and try and cover up any bald patches that I have left on show or any parts that look like they are particularly thinning. Then going in and making sure that I'm going to do this for both sides of my face. You'll notice I use the end of the comb a lot and then my ear to use as sort of an anchor point to hold that fringe in place. Then I take the comb again and just use it to tweak those front bits just to make sure that the thin hair comes across a bit more thickened. So if you have some layers towards the front it can be really nice to add these side bits in. I use them more now as an illusion for a hairline but I know in the past I've also curled them and this can also add for a really nice look. Then once everything's in place a bit better, add another healthy dose of hairspray just to finish it off. Do any last final checks on your curls. Pin any bits down that might be going a bit awry. And if you'd like your bandana to feel a bit more secure, I recommend putting them in these places. I unfortunately can't put them in these places because I have no hair to grip to. So I actually compromise and put them in the top of my hair and then make sure to use the bandana itself to hide these grips. And this is the final look. As you can see, it makes for quite a nice retro vintage updo, but also works quite well to hide any of those sneaky bald spots. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you soon.